45 Republican senators are against impeachment, meaning conviction of former President Trump will be unlikely. Last night, Senator Lindsey Graham urged against a trial, claiming it would, quote, blow up the Senate. They never called a witness in the House. If there's an effort by the Democrats to call a single witness in the United States Senate, they had no record in the House. There will be delay of this trial. There will be a Pandora's box being opened. We will want witnesses, and this thing will go on for weeks, if not months. Here to react to that is Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin. Senator, thank you so much, as always, for your time. So you just heard Lindsey Graham's threat there. But we also heard earlier from Democratic Senator Tim Kaine say that an impeachment trial with 45 Republicans already opposed in principle is a poor use of the Senate's time. Do you believe a trial is still worthy? Oh, without question. I think that uh, we must press forward. Um, one of the unique things about uh, this impeachment trial is that uh, the Senate jurists were all eyewitnesses to uh, the impeachable offense. That is the president inciting a violent insurrection in the Capitol as we were doing our solemn constitutional duty to certify the election results. And it was a, a, an assault on our democracy, on Congress, on the Capitol building, that citadel of democracy. And uh, we have to go forward with this trial uh, in part uh, to unify this country so we're all working off the same facts. Uh, it's still uh, unbelievable to me that uh, there are uh, those who only three weeks out from these tragic events that resulted in five deaths are trying to rewrite history. What do you make of the argument that uh, a censure of uh, former President Trump is better in order to speed up Biden's, President Biden's legislation and cabinet confirmations? Well, I think I just put forth a case for why we have to have this trial. It has um, uh, a lot of importance to the future of our democracy. It's fragile. I think we didn't recognize how fragile it was, how close we came. And uh, in order for us to press forward with a healthy and robust democracy, we've got to get all of these facts out. Um, you know, certainly the other issue uh, that is raised in this article of impeachment beyond removal from office is the question of whether somebody who incites violence against uh, the United States of America and its government can ever be uh, uh, in office or run for office again. And that will be a very pivotal question. You uh, are obviously aware as we continue to learn more about the attack there on the Capitol. A California man is now under arrest for, <clears throat> excuse me, for allegedly calling a family member uh, of New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries while the riot was uh, in fact going on and saying, quote, we are armed and near your home. Uh, Jeffries actually, Congressman Jeffries talked about it last night with Chris Hayes. Watch this. At the same moment that we had been evacuated, the mob is violently attacking the Capitol. Those images were being broadcast uh, to family members of members of Congress all across uh, the country who were uncertain as to what was happening to us. And at the same time, communicating on a cell phone that is not publicly available and sending images of the neighborhood where this family member resides. And so it was clearly designed to instill terror so this would suggest a level of coordination and some kind of uh, plan to threaten these members of Congress in a way that has not been previously reported. Have you personally faced an increase in threats level that you or your family or, or friends that you're aware of? Uh, certainly not on the level and with the specificity that uh, uh, my colleague in the House uh, faced and his, uh, his family faced. But certainly the rhetoric is very... Uh, uh, tense on social media and in terms of calls to uh, not just my office, but many of my colleagues' offices. And, uh, you know, yet again, another reason to go forward with this uh, trial. If people think that there's impunity for uh, this type of violent insurrection, what's to say that this type of uh, harassment and threat will not continue? So what do you make of the 45? How do you interpret the 45 Republican colleagues in the Senate who did not hold or did not want to hold the former President Trump uh, accountable through having this trial just three weeks 
after he invited that mob uh, to Washington. There are some saying that that's an indication those 45 won't convict him in the trial. Do you uh, believe that there is still a window for a conviction despite that? Yes, I think that the uh, uh, Senate must stand together to protect our democracy. And I think it will be a different question after hearing uh, the House managers present their case and whatever defense uh, former President Trump wants to offer. Uh, that'll be a different vote. And again, because so many of us, if not all of us, were eyewitnesses to this insurrection. And uh, so it's, it's a really important reason for uh, this trial to happen um, and for us to also continue to do all the other important things that you talked about in the previous sec segment. Uh, we're working on the nominations, confirming uh, several already, several of the pipeline for this week and next, and also taking uh, our steps to uh, pass the uh, COVID rescue package that uh, Biden has offered. So speaking of the rescue package, is it possible that that package will pass with Republican support? Or do you think Democrats at this point, given how serious it is and a priority it is for this administration, go it alone if they have to? Well, I believe it will receive bipartisan support in the House um, if they start. Uh, but I do believe that uh, getting to the 60 vote margin in the Senate may be uh, a big challenge. And if so, we're fully prepared and working uh, uh, right now on making sure that we can do this through the reconciliation uh, process if need be. All right, Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, thank you so much for your time. Greatly appreciate it as always. Thank you.